hello student this is part four uh, for this course uh, this part I uh, will be talk about the use of morphological characteristic uh, in identification of animal uh, right now we have uh, two main methods for identification the first one is morphology and the second one is uh, genetically but morphology in in identification still important because the morphology of uh, animal is the unique characteristic that are suitable for identification the second the morphology is the the basic idea for taxonomy for key for for the others and each species contain at least characters that are uh, special for for each species and uh, number four the morphological identification not not harm to animal sometimes just only look just only use binocular to look at and identify we no need to to touch it and the the last important the species name sometimes the species name of organism they refer to the character of them the, the first one the each species or each phylum contain the unique characteristic like uh, to to phylum the nidaria they have uh, nidocyte in the tentacle and this is a uh, echinoderm uh, the name of two phylum talk about the, the morphology of of them we can use also in the in the species level uh, this is talk about the uh, each species contain the the, the the different character and different character then make them have the different name species each species contain the unique characteristic like uh, for insect uh, we usually use the sex organ or genitalia to identification to species this is the sex organ male sex organ of uh, Plutodes flavescent Plutodes they form like this but if they have the same wing or same color but their genitalia is different then this is belong to Plutodes flavescens and this genitalia belong to Plutodes malesiana it's different it's totally different the identification of big animals sometimes we no need to touch like like bird we will just only use a binocular or sometimes just use only photo to identify them okay this is the the the, uh, the species of uh, red whisker boo boo uh, we just only have the picture then we will know what what is the species we use the collector to identify and each species contain unique collector uh, this is the uh, nidaria phylum nidaria it means uh, every species in nidaria they have the nidocyte here this is uh, the nidocyte this is the, the uh, toxic sting and chordata uh, phylum chordata this means the animal that contain the the chordata the, the backbone okay then every chordate contain uh, backbone or sometimes not not a backbone it's a notochord is is the same then the meaning of of group they really refer something that talk about the character but the the weak point of morphology characteristic identification they have some uh, some species if they have the same character we we call mimic some sometimes each different species they have the same the same body then beware we call mimic or critic species I start from mimic mimic mean one species has the similar characteristic to another one because uh, it's come from maybe because the evolution or before survival I, I will give you a example later uh, the next one cryptic species cryptic also mean two species has a uh, quite similar character okay I start from mimic here this is a uh, mimic of butterfly the first one is the one kind of butterfly the second one also one kind of butterfly uh, monash and viceroy uh, they are different species but they have very very similar we call mimic and uh, 
the the mimic usually occur to insect many of insect but they are quite similar right now we have many, many types of uh, mimic uh, for this course I, I, I talk uh, to you for two mimic type the first one is a uh, Batesian mimicry uh, this is also mimic in, in ants uh, the, the upper here is ant but lower here uh, this is the the other uh, this is the grasshopper this the, the the lower is not not end group this is the grasshopper that is very look like here also the different species of insect uh, whisper wops uh, they have different uh, flies uh, beetles they they have the same pattern then this is called mimic ah this is the, the first type of mimic, Batesian mimic, uh, or Batesian mimicry. Uh, Batesian mimicry was uh, this idea created by Bates. Uh, this is the name of a uh, scientist who found this uh, phenomenon. Uh, it means uh, the species that not danger, they mimic, they copy the, the dangerous one, like an uh, like ant here. Uh, everybody know ant and fierce animal because if we touch it, 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 it can bite us. Uh, the picture number two is the spider, but the shape is look like uh, the fearful ants here. And also here, this is also the other kind of spider. It look like ants. Then two spider mimic uh, the ants. Uh, we also, uh, next one is Muller. Um, the, the, the person found this phenomenon is a uh, Muller. Then the second one is called Mullerian mimicry. Mullerian mimicry is talk about the the less dangerous animal. They copy the more dangerous, like a bee copy the whisper. The in in the world of insect, the the, the whisper is the the most harmful uh, hymenoptera because it can bite, it can sting, and it can sting many times, not not like bees. Bee can sting you only only one time. After it sting, it pass away. But then some some bees copy wops, made it look look more dangerous. Then this is a uh, Mullerian mimicry. Second one is cryptic. For idea of Muller Mullerian Mullerian mimicry is is uh, the idea is it is for evolution, uh, made it's more more dangerous but cryptic species is not clear objective as sometimes it's it's similar but the, the 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 similar is not made them look more dangerous or something like that we found cryptic species in many kind of organism like a frog uh, this is a rana group uh, this is uh, they quite similar very very quite similar pattern but it's different species we also found the cryptic phenomenon in birds some birds is quite similar like uh, two eagle uh, hilarious uh, about sika and this species they, they're quite similar but not not like mimic because don't make it more dangerous because they, they also they also danger this is special one this is called camouflage camouflage is mean imitate the environment then we use morphology mechanism to create the key. I think everybody know the keys. Uh -huh. Key is the, the tools for identify the organism. Right now, uh, I separate the key to three types. The first one is the Kotomas key. I think uh, everybody know this one. This is the classical key that we use for a long time until now. The second one we, we sometimes we also use. Uh, pictorial key is the, the picture. Uh, and we can compare picture to the specimen and identify them. And the last one is electronic keys. This is the, the example of the Kotomas key. This is the, the Kotomas key to identify uh, animal to phylum, start from periphera to Nidaria to Kodata. Okay, this is the, the idea of the Kotomas is divided to uh, two options uh, you select. Uh, next by next wow. the first one we start from one and one a or one b uh, if one a are stopped 
uh, porifera but if one b we have go to the second the same seconds go to second a or second b and go next next text and it's in at the the name of uh, phylum uh, sometimes they create the kotomaski like this uh, this is more more uh, more more easy to use start from unknown species and check uh, check the character okay go to go along the the arrow and then you can identify animal to phylum this is also the the kotomaski in uh, in genus level of uh, oligo kid uh, some some group of earthworm and lida uh, this is more easy because they have both a uh, description and have uh, some picture to point out the character that um, that belong to each uh, genus of oligo kids second type of key is pictorial key a uh, pictorial key very useful uh, for identification insect in species level like this this picture this is the genitalia of this insect the, the caddis fly uh, lip, lepidostoma from and this is the uh, character of uh, genitalia in each side of of body okay we, we can compare the specimen to this picture if your specimen have the same character of this picture you can key to be lepidostoma and the last one is electronic key uh, electronic key you need computer uh, the, the user not complicated because just only click and click collector but the the hard part of electronic key is the builder uh, every key they need a builder to create and after create they put to the software and and the user is easy to use if if you you have the unknown specimen you just look the body if the body it like this you you check this one and then they have the other number to check 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 and then the computer will evaluate and identify for you this is uh, easy for user next i will show you the the sum word that's usually found in uh, identification in, in key for animal uh, the first one the key for orientation because uh, animal different from plant they they not have the anterior or posterior or dorsal or ventral but not in animal animal we have anterior part anterior part is uh, the, 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 the front part, posterior is the back part, uh, dorsal is the upper part, ventral is the, the lower part, then orientation words very important for animal. If you have been identified insect or identified other species in, in the key book, you will find this word many times. And tagmata, many kind of uh, animal they have a tagmata. Tagmata means the set the, the group of bodies uh, like a head uh, the animal usually contain three tagmata head part thorax parts and abdomen part conclusion the right now the animal morphology is still important because uh, the morphology they have the specific term for for the morphology if the the organism less diversity the morphology is very easy to use like uh, like a bird uh, right now uh, the, we can identify the bird by picture or by losing uh, binocular because the birds the diversity not not so high uh, also the mammalia mammalia uh, mammal mammal is easy to identify because the each mammalia species they have a clearly different character then the the less diverse organism uh, is easy by using morphology in in contrast if organism uh, very high diversity like insect sometimes the morphology use is difficult then we have we have to solve this problem by use uh, sex organ or uh, genitalia to identify then right now the the identification of insect we usually use the the, the male sex genitalia to identify the uh, species names and uh, the last one uh, because right now the systematic of animals still developing every day every every week 
and scientists found new species and write the paper printing then the systematic idea for animal non-stop they found new species this group bigger bigger they, they have to split they have to change the name then because the systematic still developing uh, the morphology identification still necessary to to use